Well, it's a bit of a saga today, Nick, about the someone who's considered to be amongst the unluckiest of explorers and astronomers of all time. And he was born in Coutances in France in 1725. Now, uh, Susie, you'll tell me if I get his pronunciation correct. Uh, Guillaume Le Gentil. Very good, Le Gentil, yes. Ooh. Excellent. <laughs> that was his name. Yeah. And, um, as we say, one of the unluckiest explorers and astronomers of all time. He was a member of an international collaboration who, at the time, they were seeking to work out the distance from the Earth to the Sun. We now know that that's 93 million miles, one astronomical unit. But at the time, the way they wanted to work it out was to send 100 people to strategic points around the world, and all of them would take scientific measurements of the transit of Venus, where we see the disk of Venus moving across the Sun as a black dot. And with this collective information, uh, in the 1700s, we could work this out. And the French part of this mission turned out to be particularly unlucky and not very well starred for our friend Guillaume Le Gentil. So he set out from Paris in 1760 for Pondicherry, a French territory of India. However, the wind was going in completely the wrong direction, blew them completely off course. By the time their ship got close to Pondicherry, where they needed to be, the British had occupied the city, which meant they couldn't go there, so he had to turn around and go all the way back to the Isle de France. And when the day of the transit of Venus came, the skies were beautifully perfectly clear, ideal observing conditions, but he couldn't make any scientific observations at all because he was on board a ship and it was rolling around everywhere. So that was that. His mission failed. Time had been wasted. But transits of Venus happen eight years apart in these pairs, and such pairs are separated by a hundred years. So we thought, do you know what? I've missed this one, but I'll hang on. I'll wait eight years for the next one. But on the day he waited eight years for, it was completely overcast, mm. and he missed it again. And this drove him to the point of almost insanity. He almost lost his mind. But after a while, he decided, OK, I've summoned enough strength, I'll sail home. And finally, he made it home 11 years later, yeah. back to Paris. When he got home, he discovered that his wife had remarried, he had lost his uh, place at the uh, Royal Academy of Sciences. His relatives had happily plundered all his belongings and stolen everything. So he had to uh, speak to the king and intervene, and it took a long time to get everything put back. But eventually things were all normalised and brought back to how they should be, and he remarried and lived happily ever after for another 21 years. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> I don't think I could have coped if it had gone wrong at the end, but it ended happily for Guillaume de Gentil. Very good. Oh, brilliant stuff. <laughs> there you go.